This guy's the biggest donkey. He goes, oh, I punched Jamie in the face. It's not even a filter. You can see everything and you're just purposely deciding to ignore. You know that is bad. Half <laughs> 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 uh, her body is yeah. chopped off and the top half of her body, because the bomb yeah. hit her, the top half of her body is hanging on a building. Yeah, and the debate was, oh, it was actually a Hamas rocket that misfired and hit it. Oh, we would never hit a hospital. How many hospitals have they bombed now? Subscribe to Lads Talk and free Palestine. Straight into the topic. Let's just let's just get into it. To be honest, I don't even do an introduction about Lads Talk because what's going on right now is just nasty. Uh, and the fact that in the news and everything, we're still talking about this and it's not... No, but I swear, uh, sorry for interrupting, but I swear there was a time period that they stopped talking about it. It was not as big. And then now, is it now it's slowly coming back? No, the thing, the thing is, yeah, it's always been big. I'm just checking the mic, yeah? yeah. The thing is, it's always been big, but the problem is um, they d dumbed it down. People started losing mm. energy for protesting and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you've been li living under a rock, Palestine is still being attacked by Israel. Um, people are get being killed. And at present, they have shifted 1.5, 1.4 million people into this tiny town that is the size of apparently Heathrow Airport. And what they're doing is relentless. They're just bombing it again and again and again they're just bombing it bombing it bombing it and it's like at this point like are we that blind that they're getting massacred like this are we that blind that this is happening we can't be that blind you know and it can't be that um difficult to understand you know so what i want to do before we get into all the politics and you know whatever of it yeah there's some people who argue about um where this started oh but hamas started a they always yeah, they, say the 7th of october isn't it that's it's the 7th. It, 7th of october yeah. and this guy there's this comedian I've, i just came across this clip yeah this comedian he talks about it in a pretty good way yeah but just watch this super quick are we going to make comments while we watch this by the way yeah, we can't just can leave it, yeah. okay yeah, yeah leave, leave it rolling speaking of getting cancelled who are you guys supporting Israel. no no india or pakistan <laughs> Israel or Palestine? Palestine. Palestine. Anyone else? Palestine? Round of applause. Israel. Israel, anyone? Why Israel? Palestine started first. Palestine started it first. Oh, we're talking about October 7th? I know. It's going on for a long time, but... You're just watching from this season. <laughs> 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 I also watched Game of Thrones midway and I was like this King Joffrey is good yeah. <laughs> good yeah. <yard. laughs> so first of all I'll say uh, knowing the history and everything I'll say that, that guy the way he described it like he absolutely smashed that on because point yeah on point with what he said yeah so Jamie you said that you're not like fully sure with what he means by this season and, and whatever yeah? yeah so uh we'll actually watch a video but you know all this stuff that's happening Israel's done it to Palestine for 75 was yeah, it 75 you, something, something yeah you know we, we've done a video before this and we were talking about Paris. it's our first um video episode <clears throat> and we said that they started in 19, 1948 i think it was yeah 1948 1947 they started this they took over israel took over palestine by being gifted it by the british right mm. and what they what they did is they got rid of they did a nakba which means a great uh in arabic it means like disaster it's like the great calamity basically and they got rid of um all the um uh, palestinians and they uh, expelled them from what's now israel mm -hmm. and shifted them so yeah. to the west bank and gaza and two million palestinians two million people can you imagine if you were told you have to pack up and leave others will kill you yeah from yeah. wherever you live currently imagine if they said pack up and leave or we'll murder you we'll bomb you we'll do this to your woman we'll put you in prison you have to leave in it mm -hmm. and uh, we'll, we'll watch a video in a, sh in a short bit mm -hmm. but this is what they're doing again and this time what they're doing and um they're shifting the Palestinians who live in Gaza from Gaza into Egypt, the south of Egypt. So currently they're in Rafah. Rafah is basically on the border of Egypt. Okay. okay. So Rafah is here. Egypt is literally on the left here. They shifted them all the way from here, all the way down to Rafah. And now they're bombing Rafah. So either they die or Egypt has left, let them in. Yeah. And no one's helping. America is still saying, oh, they have a right to defend themselves. Who are they defending themselves from again? Hamas, but we haven't seen a single attack of that, and people aren't this dumb. And also, then we can talk about like we'll go into everything really. But I just want to say we can talk about you know like um um the 
international law. Part of international law is if you go through war, if you're having a war with another country or whatever, and you have power to cut off the electricity water supply to the regular people, not combatants, not fighting people, mm-hmm. you are doing a, a war crime. How come we've forgotten the fact that Israel has done this war crime and no one has so, batted an eyelid? You know, Labour Party in England, mm-hmm. Keir Starmer, do you know what he said? They have a right to do that. No, they don't. They're breaking international law. They are literally in breach. You know what Hitler did? He broke so many laws. Because of him, they even made so many conventions and whatever. And Churchill as well. They made so many laws to prevent this from happening again. And now the laws are being broken. No one's saying anything. Do you understand? America, the people who are so free. UK, the people who care about human rights so much. Where's your human rights now? Where's your freedom now? It's nowhere. You know what I mean? Um, but do you have any questions so far? Like, is it? It's because um, with the UK... Uh they, when I mean my benefit from Israel, it's like they've got partnerships, sponsors, my money, of all course, of that, isn't it? Of course With, it is. Yeah. They've got political agendas. Uh, what's his name? Rishi Sunak. Mm. His family, you know, in Gaza, yeah. the occupied part where Israel has yeah. control, his family have like investments in there. He's from his wife uh, and his wife's mm. side. They have investments in there. If they now solve that, they're going to lose their investment. So they're all benefiting. <clears throat> That's what I mean. For me, we can talk about elections later as well. I, I don't think I'll be voting for Labour or Conservative, like at all, mm. Conservative world longer in any way. But Labour, definitely no. They, they fully are... They let down everyone, especially, you know, Asians. Yeah, I know, Labour, yeah, yeah I know. Asians vote yeah. for Labour a lot, innit? Asians now, if you are an Asian, like, end of the day, Britain done this to Asia before, many mm. moons ago. They came and they took stuff from you. If you're still going to vote for Labour after this, you're, you've are you lost your head. Uh, I'm, that's that's my personal opinion, but everyone, you make your own votes, but I know who I'm voting and it's not going to be Labour. Um, oh, my God. And we have to watch that clip from Parliament the other day. Where you S- told SNP, it, yeah. the Scottish National Party, they, were, they brought forward... Um, this like uh, like a ban or not a ban like this kind of document to say that you need to uh, do a ceasefire now and you have to have a vote they voted they outvoted the whole of part of parliament and so that everyone wants a ceasefire the mr speaker of the house you know the guy who just says order and like keeps peace mm-hmm. he goes oh i think we should still discuss it you have to go you're not allowed to break it you're not allowed to suddenly say oh i think we should discuss it. you have to be like oh that's what everyone voted for let's go for it there's so much corruption is happening in front of our eyes in our country that we're living in and we're unable to do anything about it so what's the difference between us and a third world country then there isn't much isn't it mm. but is there anything anyone wants to say because no. there's a video that will We're explain at the moment. yeah mm-hmm. okay let me just show this video it explains what nakba is so you understand what happened then and then what is happening now okay the borders of Palestine have been changed forcefully over time. In 1931, there were more than 850,000 Palestinian Arabs in the region. But with the rise of Hitler, Jewish flight from Europe became even more urgent, and Palestine started to see the biggest wave of Jewish immigration yet. A UN special committee proposed the land be divided into two states. So, sorry for pausing, yeah? I just need to say, Palestine started to see the biggest immigration. The way she said it was very airy-fairy. Um, Palestine didn't begin to see Palestine was one of the only countries While America was sleeping While UK was doing nothing None of them were letting Jews in Do you know who let the Jews in? The ones who were escaping from Hitler Palestine let them in So imagine Imagine you're running from a criminal Who's mm. trying to murder you And I open my doors And you come here And you kick me out of my own house Yeah, that's not what the hell is that? That's, that's that is, this is literally what's happened But anyways, yeah So she's I don't know what she's doing with history But anyway a Jewish state and an Arab state. Within this proposed area were hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs who had lived there for generations. By the end of 1947, Zionists had several well-developed paramilitary forces, the largest one known as the Haganah. The Haganah adopted what was called Plan Dalit, or Plan D. A set of brutal instructions called for the destruction of Arab villages by setting fire to, blowing up, and this is this is Israel uh, people. The blueprint for carrying mm. out the ethnic mm. cleansing of historic Palestine to make room for a new state. Roughly 750,000 Palestinians had been forcefully expelled, and more than 500 villages destroyed. So there's 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 one part she said that is so off key. Yeah, she goes. Um, to make room for another state what do you make room for another state do imagine yeah like i'm bengali imagine bengalis move to england yeah and they we start kicking out all the uh uk citizen normal uk born people yeah. out of country and we want to make room for a bengali state does that make sense like that, bringing your country to bringing here, my country here. today does that make any but, but sense it belongs over there yeah, yeah. that's what i mean or, i mean they don't have yeah. a land that they belong yeah, to like belong. that but they just decide oh yeah that's going to be our land so should i get all my bengali relatives to come from bangladesh and come and set 
settle and oh yeah we'll take a half of england away we we'll just make that part of our thingy how does that make any sense to make room for another state so dumb but anyway so did you understand that or should we give another go what do you think yeah i understood it pretty much yeah i mean james do you understand yeah, understood. the history yeah? yeah so that's that's how they how israel became to be uh to existence yeah so what have you guys seen recently like what's the latest that you've seen about this i forgot we spoke about me and you i forgot but it's just like it's getting really bad and um what you mentioned about was it what's how do you say the egypt rock that place where they rafa. Told, rafa yeah yep. that they told them to go as a safe place but then they're bombing that mm. and then um i saw something i don't really understand something about egypt could let them in or they are i don't know if they're or not into the country i don't know what's going on there can you enlighten me on that what's this like i don't know so they're on the egypt border yeah yep uh, they're saying egypt could let them <coughs> in but i don't know if they're refusing or letting them in okay so what's happening is they are letting them in but it's like a place pretty much there's nothing re- there's no reason it's just like a desert pretty much yeah. isn't it yeah the what's the desert sinai desert yeah so what israel's plan is they don't care about palestinians they don't see them as humans they've their own government can you imagine if um, who's our government currently like rishi sunak yeah let's say what's that david cameron if david cameron said oh yeah the asians or the africans in england they are human animals if he said that do you, how do you think you'd react do you, would you see that david cameron this is our one of our leaders mm-hmm. yeah i'm all right to be here no way you would see that yeah these guys their own government says these are human animals we're dealing with we're talking about palestinians yeah and the people not the government but regular people like journalists and stuff say oh no they were talking about hamas yeah mm-hmm. they were talking about hamas the terrorists no you're not they literally said these are human animals there's no you can't just make excuses for that like if you're a government you're so educated in your political party you'll speak cleanly you'll make sure you outline it properly they don't do that um and you're talking about so what the plan was so remember at the start they said okay hamas is in north gaza you remember that so we're going to bomb north gaza because we're they're hiding behind yeah. humans uh, yeah, yeah, human yeah, shields yeah. yeah they're using women and children to protect themselves okay fine all right let's say the international let's say the international community agree with that yeah they bombed north gaza hamas is now in the south of gaza we have to now bomb that so they bombed that so there's no targeting on the 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 what they call man the fighters the hamas fighters they're targeting kids they're targeting women hospitals do you remember um when we released that first podcast that first episode um there was this debate on whether a hospital there was a hospital that was bombed mm. yeah and the debate was oh it was actually a hamas rocket that misfired and hit it oh we would never hit a hospital how many hospitals have they bombed now all of them's gone now and i'm pretty sure s- oh, yeah there's not a single one standing up is anyone even making a big fuss about it yeah. all the hospitals are getting smashed up what about the the schools you're there's not allowed nothing. to yeah. uh, bomb schools guess what they bombed they bombed schools has all anyone schools. shouted about it no It, 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 you, the list goes on they've they've killed un people who are not even palestinian they've gone to help to you know help out they killed them as well they killed journalists you're not allowed to kill journalists they're the ones providing the news they killed them as well like there's just it's just unbelievable i can't believe in our time with the technology that we have social media human rights that we have every other day we have a lgbt parade there's there's like, at least once a month i see you, it yeah do you know what i mean like okay let's just talk about this mm. one thing lgbt they do this for the sake of human rights lgbt rights and mm. you know they have a right to exist okay fine but you celebrate that you talk about that so much even while this is going on you're still celebrating it now uh, you can't argue lgbt is anyone bombing lgbt people no no they're not they're just like they have bad views against them mm. or they, they disagree just, yeah they disagree in palestine people are getting kids you know in my uh, killed there's this uh, video i saw the other day this little girl it was so sad yeah, half her body is yeah. chopped off and the top half of her body because the bomb yeah. hit her the top half of her body is hanging on a building Can you imagine like if uh, we've played Call of Duty many times yeah Call of Duty have you even seen anything as nasty Not as that half her, it's a 7 year old girl imagine half of her body is just hanging like oh. that dead on the side of a building and the other half is chopped up and it's like god knows where it is and then there's parents imagine they're like picking up broken up arms and legs of their kids and they wrote their kids name on their arm to identify them what is this man like this is the end of world day of judgment kind of vibes that we're getting like i can't believe we're living in such a time where that's that's allowed like and we're all sitting here and it it just makes me confused like we talk about in history hitler done this to the jews this is the world thing every year 
every history do we not talk about Hitler? Do we not talk about the Holocaust? Mm. Every time. So if we're so knowledgeable and we know how bad and horrible it is and you have Memorial Day and Remembrance Day and you went to war, you sent, this country sent, not only did they send British nationals, do you know they sent Pakistanis? Do you know they sent Bengalis to, to, to fight in the war, in World War II? Yeah. Do, you, do you know they yeah. sent Asians who lived in this country and from India and stuff, they used them, if you go on the Memorial, you know, the Cenotaph and stuff in London, you'll see Bengali names, Pakistani names. We helped in World War II. So it wasn't just British, you call it. We were those British as well. When it's Memorial Day, we're thinking about our people as well. But that's all forgotten. Oh, this is this is bad. This is bad. And right now in front of us, Hitler 2.0 is happening and no one's like giving a damn, mm. basically. I, I don't know, man. Like, what do you guys actually, th- what do you think about it? Because I'm lost. I, I genuinely, I just, I just can't believe that, you know, this is... This is allowed. Has your um, account, remember that like you were saying that you posted stuff and they shadow banned it? Yeah, it's still Has shadow it? banned. So still well, shadow banned, yeah. till this day? Yeah. Shadow banned, so what, they haven't been pushing your views out, pushing your videos out? So they restrict like um, the, the audience from seeing my content. So let's say uh, we, it will just push it to like 1% of my audience, if that makes sense. So let's say I got 50k followers, it will only push it to 200 people or so. That's like less than 1%, isn't it? I'm not going to do the maths but Yeah but Pretty much 1% of us <laughs> I'm hungry are man you, Are you hungry? Yeah Alright sorry <clears throat> But carry on It's fine I'll No just but do it's, it's funny that you mentioned hunger um, Because it's relevant You know uh, Oh yeah they stopped uh, the uh, All types of food Was it? N- do you know who stopped it? It wasn't no, the government it. it wasn't the government It wasn't the army The regular citizens mm. There's There was trucks being sent In You know like people donate to charity mm. and stuff just to feed the kids, just to feed them uh, food, give them water and stuff. And they they were sending trucks in. The citizens of Israel stopped at the border and they were stopping, they were sitting there re- reading the Torah and stuff, stopping the um, Jewish, like, Jewish Bible, Bible basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they were stopping the, uh, the trucks from going in to give food. On top of that, yeah, I've seen videos of kids scraping like oil and like, you know, the remainings of oil or something off a drum just to eat and take it to the family. Like, how are you living like this, man? It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, um, another thing is Ramadan's coming up in... 15 days. 15, uh, sorry, 15, 14, 15 days, yeah. So around March the 10th, is it? 9, 10? Yeah. Around um, around the first 10 days of March, uh, uh, you know, uh, 10th of March or 9th of March or 11th of March, it's going to be Ramadan, yeah? These kids, they're already fasting 24-7. Or for since what October you can for, say uh, October they're already fasting, meaning they have no food or water to drink even if they could. Ramadan's gonna go. Asla are gonna be hungry for what, six hours or ten hours or whatever, and then oh we're gonna get all hungry. These kids have no food, man. They're, it's not just kids. Oh, why do I keep saying kids? There's women who don't have food. There's men who don't have food. Elderly people. Um, I just I I don't know, man. Honestly, I I don't know what direction to take this conversation because the whole thing is a mess. And um, it's the fact that people, journalists and stuff, they still justify it. They still justify it. They still are on the news and they're still saying, oh, this has happened, that has happened. I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. And there's there's not much I can say. Do you know what I mean? Mm. What else is there to say? There's nothing much to say. I'm just disappointed. I'm just, I don't know. It's just... Everything's happening in blind sight and they're ignoring a person. Um, yeah, they can see in plain sight and they're doing nothing about it on purpose. What is it like a, a filter over them that's making them either ignored or like with your... Mm. It's just some sort of filter or something and they're just blatantly ignoring and... Not it's it. not even a filter. You can see everything and you're just purposely <coughs> deciding to ignore. You know that is bad. You know it's happened in history from Asian countries. We've already spoken from Sri Lanka, everywhere. Literally, it's written in history so many times. And this is like with Palestine and Israel, this whole thing has been going for 75 years. We already spoke about it now. They're doing nothing about it. And me and you spoke about it. What's it? World Health Organization. Mm. They're doing nothing about it as well. And also, I don't know if he spoke up in the last podcast. I think I saw a video on TikTok here where I don't know if it's Irish or Scottish. Some MP they were standing up and talking again. The Scottish, yeah, SMP. That's yeah. what I was talking about the Parliament. Did, did we sp- did we speak about in the last episode? I don't remember. No, because this happened recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that. But there's not many people standing up. Who is it? Um, was it South Africa who took them to court? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that was an yeah. interesting development. Yeah. ICJ. Now think about this, yeah? This is like poetic, but the end result was kind of sickening, yeah? ICJ 
is international criminal is international court of justice yeah? yeah and it's in the hague okay so icj do you guys do you know what the icj is yeah, yeah. you know so what what would, what do you know about it icj <laughs> you tell me okay IC, icj yeah icj after hit lawai done yeah they made a court where if someone a, a country's president or someone like is does a war crime like that you take him to that court not cuz now no longer because you've attacked another country your country's court is not enough the whole world's court has to be the one to deal with you hitler never went to that court do you know who they took to that court israel and who's israel you know the jews that fled and ran away from hitler those same jews are the ones now killing or not the same jews the children and the children ch- children's children of those jews are the ones that they're taking to that court mm. can you imagine how embarrassing or how how i don't even think of it that way that's it. crazy how it's mad yeah that? and how i don't know the word there's a word for it but how like um cold hide stone hide i don't know I don't know my like indecent it's just I, I, how cruel is that and evil that you're the ones who suffer you not you but your parents and stuff were the ones who suffered that and now you lots are making others suffer the same thing and then what do they do they in South Africa South Africa know apartheid and genocide all too well because people um done it to them in it mm. they um they used to separate them and they didn't you know like the way Palestine's been separated um like West Bank by the way, West Bank has no Hamas in it and they kill people there for no reason so they they don't even have any by the way no one questions this. they don't even have an excuse to kill people there meaning they could have said oh there's a terrorist they can't say there's a terrorist because there are none there and they're like oh yeah we killed them it was and it's always an accident in a West Bank the Israelis suddenly they just talk the Palestinians like sure oh ooh, accident like that's just how it is in west bank and there's no terrorists but in gaza they have all these excuses do you know what i mean like they make no sense then you have the icj anyway come back to the topic south africa because they understand apartheid and this stuff they got all their lawyers they took israel to court and accused them of genocide yeah all the videos you see on social media you see on instagram you see on tiktok you see on youtube all these videos that have been shared that little girl that was on you know half her body calf the children who's being carried in carrier bags the blood stained roads there there was a man on ITV news ITV news a man was interviewed they're like are you running away like he's saying all that stuff and guess what they in the next 2 minutes the ITV news UK news literally showed that he'd been shot by Israeli people and he he had he done this he even had a white flag you know the surrender flag yeah. everyone knows that's the surrender With the journalist flag. the 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 person the journalist was interviewing yeah. he had a white flag white flag means i surrender and i won't do anything yeah. mm-hmm. they shot him can you imagine they caught it in the uk we can see this and nothing was done about it nothing was questioned there was nothing all they say is we'll keep reminding israel to follow international law what is this man like it's literally They're like you breaking you what do you mean keep reminding to follow it they don't even following in the first place do you understand imagine in the in class yeah when i was a teacher imagine one kid is bullying another kid and he's punching his face until blood is squirting out and i'm like hey you're not allowed to do that in mm. class We we talking about? Are you dumb? He's punching his face. You have to stop him. That's how it is. You have to intervene. And do you know what I mean? If you can use it in that example, when it comes to a whole country, don't you think there's mm. there's so much that you can do? Anyway, sorry man. I keep going off topic. But ICJ, they took him to court and they showed all these videos and everything, yeah? And even ICJ, although it was like a rubbish answer to be honest, yeah. They said Israel is I think the way they phrased it is Israel is at risk of committing a genocide. So we remind you to follow international law. What? Yeah. Do you understand? Like it, it's not the answer you're looking for, but the fact is, yeah, there is one win from it. The fact that the actual court said that this is um at risk of being or it is it, it can but be But it's only a genocide. What do yeah, you mean? Risk? No, I'm saying but the way yeah, they said yeah. it, the fact that they said that it's at risk of being a genocide. You know what Israel said all this time? They said no, we're being careful what do you think? How come the court said you're at risk then? Mm. You shouldn't be. If you're that good, do you understand? So it's like the most microscopic footstep towards that. But to be honest, at this point, it's not good enough. Um, and I think I guess I questioned once, and I was like, you know what? Surely there's more. If if this was happening here, what would I be doing? And you get angry sometimes. You get sad sometimes. You can give up sometimes. Sometimes you think maybe it's the end of days. Maybe Dajjal is coming. Antichrist is coming. You know, and it makes you think so many things. But Right now I feel like the biggest um the biggest uh test for us is yeah what are we doing about it the biggest form of 
help that you can give obviously you can donate and give charity if it even gets to them but boycotting is one of the most important things and this country guess what they tried to ban boycotting as well because he was working a bit too well starbucks lost 11 billion dollars coca-cola lost billions mcdonald's lost billions can you imagine mcdonald's how nasty they are when people are getting bombed up or oh, all the israeli soldiers will give you free food can you imagine they're taking food away from kids and stuff killing kids and and women and children and animals as well yeah do you know that amount of dogs there was a guy um forget um th- this guy was carrying his cat out and he goes they're like why are you carrying your cat you could have got clothes you could have got all that stuff and he goes i'm not gonna leave my cat look at the car he's stroking the car and everything cat's shivering have you seen an animal shiver from from fear before how sad is that do you know what i mean when you look at an animal shiver you got a dog in it yeah. can, can you imagine your dog if he was in the middle of this war bombs dropping there's dogs in this country scared of fireworks people yeah. people complain and they're like oh yeah let's um ban fireworks because it scares the dogs and stuff like that can you imagine forget fireworks can you imagine bombs dropping around you it's uh it's mad but boycotting works that's that's one thing i realized yeah, going on from what you said yeah i don't know if you remember mcdonald's put a statement on other companies because um they realized about i think it was about the fries wasn't it they were sending it to the israeli soldiers and he tried to say oh we don't do any of that we don't know about that we don't do that but it's already done like the like us as the public you can already see what you're doing as a company there's no point lying to us we know you're lying we're not going to believe you we're going to still boycott isn't it mm-hmm. i forgot what they exactly said do you remember so basically they they made they put a statement saying oh yeah we are not related to them yeah. we don't like support them yeah. we don't support either side we're just like neutral yeah and but that the statement before that it was like oh we are sending yeah. aid and to the israeli thing israeli so soldiers. and and also they're lying because yeah. they <clears throat> they have a lot of um their revenue money goes supplying the missiles that drop on kids yeah. and women and children and stuff the their money that we make from selling burgers and chips and stuff they give it to um israel to support their terrorism basically and someone said that reminds me of a quote yeah someone said um Terrorism is the poor man's uh, war, and uh, war is the. You know what? And terrorism yeah. is the war of the poor. poor. Yeah. And war is the terrorism of the rich. Yeah. So terrorism is the war of the poor, and war is the terrorism of the rich. Yeah. yeah exactly. And it's so true because a, a terrorist, yeah, not that they're good. Because at the end of the day, when you harm innocent people. you've done something wrong okay you can take it from a religious perspective or you can take it from a moral perspective if you harm an innocent person if, if, let's say daniel punches me mm-hmm. and it, as a retaliation because i'm angry and i'm sad about it i punch jamie in the face does that make sense that's, yeah, that's, that's not, not fair, that's not fair do you, okay. do you understand if you have war with someone if i'm fighting you in a battle or a fight or whatever this just us to our combatants us to other fighters we're fighting it out that's it done but terrorism that's why it's wrong everyone can everyone can ac- agree to that but war When they say that's the terrorism of the rich is true because war guess what they don't just have a simple little bomb here or a gun or a knife they chucking massive bombs carpet bombing missiles the fastest um, uh, uh, what do you call those uh, drones or something like that missiles targeted missiles they have all of this equipment and they're not just harming the fighters they're harming even poor, um, uh, regular people as well in it so that they're is they're not even they're not even equipped with the war stuff which is that's embarrassing that is terrorism and like israel can't There's not a single post I've seen where Israel can justify the stuff that it does. And there's this funny video I saw yeah of um this guy he was so fed up of like running away from so- soldiers and stuff because they just do it for no reason. So he made a video and he posted it. I think he went viral as well. But I wanted to watch it. Do you guys should we watch it now? Go on. So if you know if you know what the video is, yeah. Yeah, it's is this oh, one. Right, where is this? In Palestine. Okay. Why are they running because they're getting attacked? Yeah. Look, someone did. Oh wait, is that the Israeli police? Yeah. <laughs> He goes, no, my ass. Fuck you. Wait, I didn't get this video, so what's going on? Oh, they're getting attacked, yeah, by the Israeli soldiers and yeah. he's just like, oh, I can't be arsed. Right. Right. Yeah. And then he gets done on the ass and he's just, like, just watch it again, now you know it. Yeah. Yeah. Just watch it. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Oh, they're doing a protest yeah, and they yeah. like it, alright, alright, I got it. <laughs> oh, and oh, it's... 
<laughs> no mass. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, they celebrated because he didn't hit me as well. Oh, that was so satisfying, man. Um, but like, I mean, the fact that that guy can make a joke of it, like, uh, like that. That's that's saying a lot. Do you know what I mean? So he's a influencer. So his uh, what do you call it? Uh, in a way, the viewers who are watching him, they want to see what's going on in Palestine and stuff like that. So he's keeping a bright face and he's smiling and he's making a joke out of it. But the, what about the other people? Like, I'm sure you guys have seen that um, Reem, you know, the granddad of Reem, that little girl and her eyes were open. And the granddad's like pretending he's talking to her, the soul of his soul or something, the soul of my soul. Mm. Oh, man, we can't watch every video there is out there, but I'll, I'll definitely I'll put the link in the description and whatnot. But... Man, it's, it is so hard to to watch this kind of stuff, man. It's really, really difficult. Um, but talking about influencers, <laughs> one of our influencers, it, can you imagine it's been, what, October 7th, yeah? October, October, November, December, January, February. We're nearly in March, yeah? Five months, five months into the, uh, this trash, oh, genocide. this genocide. whole yeah. genocide, yeah? Five months in, there's so many videos out there, there's so much out there. And by now, you would have thought, People know what's up. People who don't have any investment in Israel and people who don't care, um, people who care, sorry, about, you know, lives and he being a human, by now they would have looked into and they'd be like, oh, you know, this is really bad. Okay. <clears throat> even if you don't want to take a side, you know, one side is doing more. In people who are even on Israel's side, they've said, like look at Piers Morgan That guy was literally mm. Up Israel So high You can see all his interviews Yeah But now what is he saying You literally have to question They're doing too much He literally said Imagine supporting him And saying nah He's doing too much So by now Even a guy who supports Israel Can say that What is our influencers UK influencers That everyone looks up to And stuff What's his excuse You know Have you guys seen Do you know You guys know who I'm talking about Yeah right? I've seen the video Yeah KSI yeah, who is oh, such a good guy, such a big influencer, and he has so much influence on people and mental health and whatever, yeah. By now, even Minnie Minter, his mates and stuff, they know about Israel and they're like, oh, boycott McDonald's, boycott this, boycott that. Is that what they said? I haven't seen he, he, There's a clip no. where Simon said yeah. that. Where has he been? What rock does he live under? He's got so many businesses and everything like that and not one message to thingy. But Ukraine, I'm sure he would have. Mm -hmm. And all other sorts of causes, I'm, I'm sure he's pretty outspoken. Yeah, but when it comes has, to yeah. Palestinians and Israelis, he doesn't want to He doesn't want to get involved. But I just want to show you this clip. Mm -hmm. This whole episode is us watching clips, to be honest, reacting. Because it's just nasty. Because so but, much has happened ever since we've done the first episode. Yeah. Just, just, just w yeah. w watch this, yeah. Look how disappointing this guy is. Let me just... Slightly controversial question. Oh, God. What do you think about... Palestine Israel situation at the moment. I <laughs> I honestly have no idea what's going on. So you're telling me five months into mm. a thing you don't have idea what's going on. And he's so big like he's so like, there's like there's no he's so big as well. Like, what do you mean? He's so knowledge about everything yeah. under the sun, but he doesn't knowledge yeah. is his thing. Yeah. Yeah. Knowledge and integrity is another thing. Both of those things, he has none of them. And I'll get to strength as well. But why is he like, laughing about it? And also, why is he laughing? What's so funny? What's funny about kids dying? Like, like that? I'm pretty sure if it happened to his country, you wouldn't be laughing. You'd be standing up, sticking for it, talking about it. He's big to get it out there. You know? Honestly. The thing <coughs> is, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yep. You don't even need to be from the country. Just like a, a normal person would talk about it. If you see like a guy getting stabbed up outside, you would feel sad for him. Mm. You would try to help him. Yeah. Simple as. And on top of that, it's like little kids. Obviously, you know, kids are more like. You Some know, sort of empathy, yeah, isn't it? Empathy. Yeah. Them. Exactly. Yeah. What? That's why is it being thing? Wait, let me. Do... Controversial question. Oh God. What do you think about the Palestine-Israel situation at the moment? I, <laughs> I honestly have no idea what's going on. <laughs> That's that is that is it. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not getting involved. It's way above me. Mm. Get out, <laughs> please. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I after? don't know. He said, well, oh, let's, let's controversial questions, please. He said, it's way above me. Uh, what do you say? It's way above me. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, he laughed like a donkey as well. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I don't know. 
is that... He's basically saying I can't do much about it. Like, yeah, but if you can talk about it, anyone can. Yeah. Like, there's people that have like barely any audience. Audience that still talk about it. He's got he's he's got everyone from the UK fam, and he's just there, man. Yeah, imagine we got like three hundred followers. We're still talking about it. It's not like he's gonna reach out like bears, but it's still helping someone. Yeah, that's uh, and that's all it takes. But he's and talk- also he's got the money to help. Palestine, the Palestine people, the yeah. public. Forget the money. We don't even want his yeah. money. Just say, oh yeah, this is what's happening. Just educate them. That's yeah. it. That's it. Or you get got- educated. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. You didn't know about it. After that, like you got so much. You can then go and look it up and. It's the most tell like people. smallest thing yeah. to do. You come back and be like, I'm sorry for this. I got my ed- self educated, yeah. and this is the situation. Yeah. And I'm sorry the way you rea- reacted. And that's yeah. it. That's Remember it. when um, um that guy. That does the podcast. Some guy from Newcastle. What's his name? The one, True Jordy. Oh, he yeah, says yeah, something yeah. about Muslim people, yeah, yeah. and then oh, he got yeah, so much yeah. backlash. And then he called yeah. Ali Dawa and yeah. Muhammad Hijab, and then you talked about Islam and stuff. He, I mean, he done it. Yeah. Whether it's well, God PR, knows, God yeah. knows about his intentions, yeah, yeah. but he done it still. Yeah, that's it. And, and we it, got this guy just. But him doing it, like, okay, yeah. my perspective on True Jordy won't probably won't ever change because I know that that's why he used to look at. Or he he probably might even still look at me like that as a Muslim, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the fact is, I can't fault him on the fact that his viewers who were thinking like that and never voiced those things after talking to Ali Dawa or Muhammad Hijab or any other Muslim that he was speaking to. Those opinions that weren't educated by Islam, <clears throat> Islam and just thought of Muslims as terrorists, they're definitely slightly mm-hmm. changed. Do you know what I mean? Like they're definitely slightly better. Like oh, okay, you know what? That's fine. And even they're looking at that influencer, True Jordy, and be like, um, what's it? Oh yeah, no. If he can see the light in it, then I probably. Can. That's the whole point of influence, isn't it? Mm-hmm. To influence people. This guy's the biggest donkey. He goes. Oh, <laughs> do you know what that the actual um. What's it called? The reason, actual the reason behind it. The, the reason behind why he did this because he thought if I say uh, "f Israel" or if I say uh, "Palestinians started it," yeah. whichever one, whichever yeah. side I take, I'm gonna get cancelled either way. Cancelled on his business as well. The way he makes money, business, he's gonna get. I'm yeah, gonna lose, he's gonna get affected. They yeah. probably, you know, like um, what, what's that drink? His, prime. The prime uh, drink. He probably sponsors like you. You know, he sponsors UFC. You know, and everyone stuff. I know, it's so many people. You know, don't know, UFC. Maybe they have ties to Israel. We don't know. Yeah. Or. Uh, he might sponsor yeah, They've got teams Arsenal Like, like Arsenal. Uh, boxing oh, yeah. people U- UFC players Like individual That they're yeah. sponsored by They sponsor they've got so Barcelona many, Yeah they sponsor Some basketball players Like literally Everyone from every sport They got, sponsor yeah. So many sports All those sports Will cancel Prime yeah. As a sponsor He yeah. thought I can't From Israel's side yeah. He needs to sp- because otherwise they're not going to pay him And from the Palestinian side um, You know uh, The people My followers Who actually follow me And subscribe to me They're not going to Like me anymore So what did he do? I'll play it safe And I'll just um, What's it called? I'll just pretend like I don't know what's going on And I'm not going to take a side But the part where His whole name KSI Knowledge, strength and integrity First of all Knowledge if he had known better, he'd be like, my followers are the ones who got me to this place. Yeah. They'll always, if they don't cancel me, I'll be fine. Yeah, that's one. Strength, he's the biggest weakling. If he can't even do that. Integrity, look how he let himself down. He let everyone down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, being an influencer like this, the, the well done everyone to, who subscribes to him and who follows him and who is going to protect him as well. If you're in the comments as well, protect him. By all means do. Yeah, but end of the day, this is your influencer and this is how much integrity he has. Congratulations. Uh, I can't believe when one of the biggest, you know, if um, it's like comparing to, you know, the Holocaust, mm. if Hitler was doing this and someone said, what do you think about the Holocaust? I, I don't know. Uh, you know what it is, yeah? Uh, I, can't, I can't take a side, man. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> honestly, let's not ask too many controversial questions. But, but mate, they're burning Jews in in uh, gas chambers. Oh yeah, <laughs> really? Oh, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> are you stupid? What, what like? What, what are you talking about? Like this is what I mean. People, when it comes to Muslims getting uh, violated, when it comes to Asians getting violated, when it comes to Black people getting violated, it's not a big deal, man. It's no like one it's, no mm. one cares. It's it's all right, man. If your skin is white, yeah. If you look. <laughs> No, joking, joking. Uh, we're okay. If your skin is white And if you're from a European country Like Ukraine mm-hmm. We talked about yeah, this last yeah, Russia, time Yeah, we did yeah. Russia and Ukraine These are white Europeans These aren't third world country people So third world country people Bomb them as much as you want But when it comes to white people Oh my goodness Protect he, them and look Protect after, yeah. them Do you know there's a million, Millions and millions of pounds In the UK yeah. Yeah. For them But they're nothing to Bro, this. think of this I'll, I'll just Because um, mm-hmm. I need to calm down yeah? yeah. But 9-11 
Yeah. These two numbers that we're made to remember every year, every year. Mm. Remember this. Every year on September the 11th, yeah. Yeah. we have to be reminded on TV, on social media, wherever you look, yeah? 9-11, they repeat it. Why? One plane, and I think it was like bombs or something, was in America in these two places, in the Twin Towers and the Pentagon, yeah? Mm. Those, was it the Pentagon? Yeah. Um, no. He's not the Pentagon, Pentagon. Uh, The World Trade Center yeah. World Trade Center And uh, the Twin Towers They need to give us a reminder Every year From these two attacks Yeah How many attacks Have landed in Palestine mm. Way more How many Triple bombs Have been landing times, in Palestine 20 times more How many reminders Are we getting Nothing mm, barely. Is there a single Memorial Day No No Nothing Why Because What does that suggest If you're Arab If you're Muslim If you're Asian If you're black If you are not white You're not that important To remember in the first place That's the message That we're getting if you made it this far, please make sure you subscribe. <laughs> but I um, uh, just want you to calm down. But um, you wanted to say something about religion, by the way, Daniel. Uh, talking about religion, uh, there's like this, um, I mean, there's two ways to look at it. There's one way people are just doing these um, protests and whatever. There's certain people that say, okay, you're doing this protest, but are you praying? You know, because like the protests are like from morning till night, mm -hmm. half of these men just don't pray. They're just like, free Palestine, free Palestine, all of this and that. Uh, like, there's like a religious link to Palestine, if that makes sense. Of course, yeah. And I feel like I, uh, you can go to think protests and whatever, but the biggest, they say, yeah, the biggest weapon that you have as a believer is the war. If you go, for example, a thousand people shouting, or oh, free Palestine, free Palestine, and then you go a thousand people actually praying five times and making dua, yeah, um, Allah change the situation in Gaza, or whatever, it will have a bigger effect, if that makes sense. If you have them two combined, yeah, even more powerful, fair enough. But there's certain people, they're just there, you know, they go and they protest, no prayer, go home, eat, sleep, and boom, same thing again and again. And um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Don't know how you that's an important point yeah. the, that's an important point but um the hadith uh, that you're talking about no you're not talking about hadith. the hadith that I, i'll mention is uh prophet muhammad peace be upon him he said that when you see something bad you stop it with your hand if you can't you stop it with your tongue meaning you speak about it and if you can't do that then you hold it in your heart that you know what this is a bad action i, I dislike this action okay a person who attends protests you can't Fault them, the fact that they are making a difference, they're being loud, yeah? Now a person who prays, probably in religious terms, is much better because he's asking the one who has the most power of all, God, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What about a person who attends protests and makes sure they do their prayers as well? They must be the best ones, isn't it? Yeah, so if you combine it, then even com better. Exactly. Yeah. So right now, when the news and the publicity... I just want to add to that, yeah. that point. Okay, so I see people begging... Like or uh, flipping presidents or mm -hmm. different parties and yeah, stuff, yeah. but the biggest like person, the per person that has the most power is the creator. So if you're not taking your time to ask the creator and you're begging random people, it's like me begging you, bruv, give me one thousand pounds, give me one thousand pounds, and you're like, what are you? Just move yourself. Mm -hmm. Five months, yeah, I keep on begging you, begging you, begging you. Instead of that. If I went to God, yeah, because I know God is going to provide for me and he's the one that's going to answer every wish that I have. If it's good for me, he'll provide. If not, he'll give me something better, delays, whatever. But the best thing you can do is ask the creator. So if you're not asking the creator and you're just wasting your time just shouting at these random people, um, what, what is that going to lead to? The only person that can change people's circumstances, how they feel in their heart and stuff is, is God. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. That's why you have to combine the two in it. Otherwise, yeah, exactly. you, you you are you are a big loss. <clears throat> but the, what I was saying is, I think at this time when the publicity is, maybe it's dying down. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I want to show you one video. It's actually, uh, let me just show you two seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. You okay, Sadiq? Yeah, why? It's, you know, this is topic, in it? I've wanted to yeah. scream about this for yeah. so bloody long, yeah, but...
مالكم يا عمي شدوا حيلكم ارض جهاد هذه وارض رباط كنا في سبيل الله احنا ليش عايشين؟ بكره بياخذوا من ايده بخش شكل فردوس الاعلى الشهيد بتشفى على 70 واحد من اهل بيته ل 70 واحد بتشفى كرهان مش خساره في ربنا الله خلقنا والله بياخذنا والله يفعل ما يريد واحنا الحمد لله صبرين صابرين وبنرضى قضاء الله وقدره بنرضى فيه ما نعترضش على امر الله Uh, can you quickly explain it? Because okay, let me just explain it. So, so the guy, um, his son died. He was 22, yeah. um, and he's pretty much saying, "Yeah, why are you guys uh, crying about it? We belong to God, and we're gonna all—all all of us are gonna die sooner or later. So have faith in Allah. Whatever is happening, is happening for a reason. Strength yourself. So be like, be a man. Don't yeah. cry about it. Um, whatever is meant to happen for you will happen, and um, it." At the end, I think yeah, he said something about yeah. Stop begging people. Just ask, ask Allah. At the end of the day, this is this life is a test. You get it. Mm. So if you're sad, you're gonna cry. Whatever you're feeling now, it's a test from God. You get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what. If you wanna add something to it. No, I was saying. Um, no, that video. I just. It just. It, yeah, he shows the guy shows... like um, faith. How strong it is. Yeah, man. He, he's think can his you, son can... died and. Look not only it. his like not only is he looking at dead people every day yeah. he's in hospital right now he's just seeing dead people come in bleeding and stuff low no arms no limbs he's seeing that on top of that he's lost his own kid yeah that is mad and he's still like oh there's i trust in god i trust in god like you must that must be like a solid level of belief Do you know what i mean like and then there's other people who like they can't take they kick their pinky toe on the table and they're like crying about it Do you know what i mean for example us like you know when we like plan certain stuff for example the thing that we wanted to do we wanted to do this that and then like we have a certain plan you know like, that yeah and then it just doesn't fall through and you get so disheartened like yeah. why me i'm trying i'm trying and trying imagine this guy he lost his yeah, son that's, that's way and so there's so many he's seeing dead people around him and he's like well this is what allah wanted for us like this is yeah he's like it makes you like you know and we are here we are not even praying and this guy is like having this faith there's people dying and he's still you know he has that faith and here we are like crying over little stuff uh that that's yeah. just remind me he was doing wudu yeah. What, during this interview yeah. during that ritual yeah. washing he's doing that meaning he's getting ready to pray again by the way yeah so he's getting bombed he's buried his son there's dead people coming in but he's still t he's making time for his prayer still that is they believe that's why so many people become muslim after this palestine stuff and they started researching yeah Islam. there's so many people that convert because it's it's crazy, crazy stuff man subhanallah but the, i think the that's a really good place to end it to be honest and i think genuinely um the, it is going to die down because us we live in a attention adhd era where our attention only lasts for a few day a few hours or she a few seconds some of us yeah don't forget these people man honestly don't forget don't forget what's happening it's been five months it's going to be six maybe it's going to be 12 months it maybe it might be three years don't forget what's happening because you know what the more we see it the more our brain gets used to certain things don't get used to it don't get used to seeing people killed don't get used to seeing murder don't get used to seeing dead children don't get used to that stuff that, that's not the stuff that you get used to that's the stuff that you every time you should be sickened by that's the stuff you should always be upset by so that's one last message i want to say and uh, for those people that say what can we do like yeah. start yeah. by making dua and then there's certain people they want like they go to people like oh yeah you should boycott this you should boycott that but just start from your own self look at yourself am i doing everything i can in my power to make a change to like you know to help them out you start praying on time then just try try to boycott there's certain people you don't need to boycott everything if that makes sense there's certain necessities yeah like for example you can't have a certain drink or whatever and you need to because you get allergy or something yeah. there's certain people they can't eat certain foods and especially from this gluten brand. for example yeah, yeah so you don't need to boycott everything but try to boycott as much as you can and put your prayer first and then go if you don't need to you don't need to go to protest just make sure yeah you're making dua that's the minimum you can do mm. You don't need to put money. You don't need to walk out. Just from begin from your prayer, yeah. simple as. And and look, it's not you're saying dua a lot, yeah. yeah? Look, you're Christian. You're Christian, yeah. or you you're going to be Christian again soon. <laughs> be born again. <laughs> no, 
Like you Reborn. say, make dua, but like you're Christian, you're Christian. Just basically make praise and go to pray. the the original. Way. Every human, where, every, sorry, every human, whether you're a religious. Muslim, or, you know, you don't have to be religious. Even if you don't believe in God, right now, pray. Just put your hands up, do whatever you want, and pray and say, God. Or if if you don't believe in God, then if you are out there, please give some relief to these people. Pray or not. If there is a God, if you don't believe in a God and there is a God, He'll be listening to you. That's that's what you need to remember. It like I don't that. know if that this makes sense here. You know when you talk about self like love example, for example, you're like, I'm good enough. I'm good enough. Mm. It's like a self dua in a way, yeah, isn't yeah. it? That's it yeah. yeah, like that. Like some, it will change. I know it will change. Like stuff like that. Mm. Be positive about it. But um, yeah, yeah. By the way, this this app uh, made by this I think Bengali brother and. Um, the name of the app is No Thanks, so N O then Thanks, and the logo is green. We'll put the link down in the bio somewhere. And um, if you are not sure if you should boycott a certain product, you click on the app and you just scan the barcode on the product. It will tell you if it's good or not. Yeah. And other than that, we'll put like a link uh, with um, a list of companies yeah. that you should try to boycott. Yeah. And yeah, that's about it, man. It. See you next time. Yep. Leave a like, subscribe, and free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Palestine.